Tov Jewish News, thanks for joining us. I'm speaking with former member of Knesset, Moshe Feiglin. Hi, Moshe. Hello, Elliot. Thanks for joining us. Um, I want to talk to you today. Um, you, you've been uh, or, or considered a uh, author, philosopher. You were involved in the past in creating Zu Artsenu, a, a national movement. I want to talk to you today about the day after. We're not sure what's going to happen, whether the army will go in, they'll do this or that, but there will be a day of reckoning a day after. And I think a lot of Israelis um, are starting to think about that because it's already been three weeks since, since the bloody massacre. And um, I think there's a, a general consensus, I feel it, uh, throughout Israel, it doesn't matter, left, right, religious, non-religious, that what's been going on up till now, whether it's for the last couple years or the past 75 years, can't continue in the same way. And I want to talk to you about that. So starting off, what do you think is going to be, what's going to happen the day after? Well, being that this war uh, is not even starting, Uh, the day after will be worse than the day before. Okay? Because if you're not going to win this war, and it doesn't look like the, the, the will, there is a will to win this war, because as I explained again and again, there's only one way to win this war, and it, and it, and it is to take over the whole Gaza Strip uh, uh, to, uh, and to rebuild Gush Katif, and to send our enemies, these butchers, these butcher I, I, Aza people on their merry way to, to Sinai and whoever wants to take them is welcome to do so. This, this should be the end picture of the war uh, when it will start. So far it did not even start. It's, an, it's a one-side war as is, na as is right now. As I see it right now, the, it's going to, a, uh, to be a, the biggest defeat that Israel ever, ever had since its creation. But if you're asking me what the uh, situation should look like, what the picture should look like after, the way I think it should look like, the Gaza Strip should be the new Riviera of Israel. And million Israelis should live there, just as in Tel Aviv, just as in Gush Dan. Do not forget that the Gaza Strip is a, 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 an original part of the land of Israel. Uh, the, the city of Gaza uh, is a, a, a 3,000 years biblical city in Eretz Israel just like Yafo, just, just uh, has, a, has history, Jewish history of 3,000 years, just like Jerusalem, until 1929. There were still Jews in Gaza until the Arabs. Uh, right. But, but, right now there's a, but, but right now there's a million and a half Arabs in Gaza, and they're not going to evaporate overnight. Just, just in the last year, 200,000 200, of them left. We should have helped that process in the last 10, 10 15 years and could, could solve the problem easy. And I explain and again and again and again what we should do in the last 15 years. Because we did not, did, we did not do it, we got what we got on Simchat Torah. And now a peaceful solution as I offered in the last 15 years, uh, uh, cannot be done anymore because we need a revenge. Without, okay. a, without a, a, a revenge, we will not gain the fear that we need, to, we need our enemies around us to have in this jungle in order to be able to exist here. So right now, this process that I, I, I know that could have could, could been done peacefully and 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 with uh, uh, and 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 I and I know that most of the Gaza people wanted it but we 
did not want it, wanted it to happen. It's impossible to do anymore, and it has to be done in in in, in a very bad way. And, and so, what you're uh, saying is pretty and, severe, and though, because you're saying you're saying that most of the Gaza people did want some kind of peaceful resolution to living side by side with Israel. They were paying. I'm talking about hundreds, hundreds of thousands of them. They were paying thousands of dollars, thousand, maybe ten thousand dollars each, to all kind of fishermen to put them in boats. Some of them. Oh, okay, sunk so you're, you're talking. You're, you're talking about immigration from the Gaza Strip to other parts of the world. Yes, and okay, they wish so that's to a... do it. And it, was, it was definitely a, 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 a something that Israel should have helped happen. Israel did not do it. Israel was uh, uh, sticked to the uh, solutions of Oslo, to the craziness of Oslo concepts. All and right, that's so, why we got what we got. Okay, so now you say there's no, a war, and, and, they and, should and, be and, and, driven and, and, out as yeah. refugees and dispersed to other places in the world. The basically. bottom line is, the bottom line is there should be no Arab Muslim left in the Gaza Strip. If we want to live here, if we want our kids and our grandchildren and next generation to be able to live here in Israel, we cannot leave that seed of poison that will kill our kids again. It should be, the, the Gaza Strip should be Israeli, should be Jewish and, to, and should be flourished by Jewish settlements. No other, no other solution will, will, will do. We'll okay, so so that's your visions for what's going to happen in Gaza. Let's talk about what's going to happen inside Israel after the war is over. Like, um, is it going to be back to the same old kind of stuff, fighting between left and right, the uh, the the uh, elections right after the war? Is the government going to resign? Is all the military uh, high-ranking military officers going to resign? What what do you think is going to happen in Israel? the day after, what needs to happen in order for some serious change to happen? Because like I said, I think a lot of people in Israel feel what was going on up till now in the country can't continue the day after. So give me your vision for what's gonna happen in Israel. Okay, nothing is Israel in Israel will be the same. It's all already now, it's not, it's not the same and will be the same the day after. Fights will continue, okay? But the basic Israeli conscience realized that it cannot lean anymore on, on the IDF, on the all con, all old concepts of Zionism. And I have no doubt that a new force, not left, not right, but Jewish, Jewish leadership will rise up. And why I'm saying so, I'm saying that because we see that the leadership from all ranks of society, from left, from right, Gantz, Bibi, Sharon, eh, 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 Lapid, it doesn't matter. When, you, when your conscience as a leader is not connected to, to God, to Judaism, to basic Jew, Jewish concepts, to Netzach Israel, is a, a Jewish infinity, if I can, if I said it right, okay? If you, if you, if you don't think through Jewish conscience and Jewish faith, you cannot see the reality. We know that they were blind to, to reality with the way they looked at it. That's why we got it on, on, Rosh, on, on Simchat Torah. And you cannot deal with the challenges that the, that the Jewish state is facing in, 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 in our neighborhood. No, no. You need a new kind of leadership to Israel, and I, and I have no doubt that it will rise now. No doubt. So I will join you in those wishes that we have a, a higher Jewish consciousness, both in Israel and abroad, that brings everybody together. Uh, thank you, Moshe, for joining us. It was very interesting, and uh, we'll thank hope you. for the best. Thanks for joining us on Tov Jewish News, where we bring you unique perspectives and insight. You can also check out our Hebrew channel for more valuable content.